introduction to ECMAScript. Uh, so let's understand about the ECMAScript. So ECMAScript is a scripting language specification. In short, uh, we say it to ES. So ECMAScript is created to standardize JavaScript by ECMA International in 1997. So after the, the JavaScript introduction, like ECMAScript came into the picture so that the Netscape can standardize the JavaScript things. And other implementation of ECMAScript are JScript and ActionScript. So whatever the, the scripting languages, what are the scripting, the framework in market we have, they are actually following the ECMAScript standard. Now let's have a look on the ECMAScript version history. So ECMAScript first version was released in June 1997 to standardize the JavaScript. Then we have the second version in June 1998. So there are some editorial changes. So there are no other so much the new concept wanted to use in the ECMAScript version 2. Then we have ECMAScript third version that is also known as ES3. So it was released in December 1999. So with this ES3, we have a regular expression, try catch, exception handling, new controls statement like for in. Then we have ES5 in December 2009. So with the ES5, we have new features like getters and setters, strict mode, and the support for the JSON. Then we have ECMAScript 2015, or you can say the ES6. So it was released in June 2015. So with ES6, we have classes, arrow function, let and constant keyboard for defining a variable. We have spread operator, rest and default parameters within the function. We have for loop, we have promises, and we have the modules. So ES6 introduced so many features which actually we can use for writing our JavaScript code in better way. Then we have ES6 or you can say that my script 2016. It was released in June 2016. So with ES7 we have exponential operator like double asterisk. Then we have array dot prototype dot includes. So these are the main features we are discussing here. Apart from these features we have other changes as well uh, as per the release of each and every version. Then we have ECMAScript 2017 or you can say the ES8. So it was released in June 2017. So with ES8 we have string padding with pad star and the pad end. We have object values and the object entities. We have trailing commas in function parameters list. We have async function with async and await keyword so that we can write the code for asynchronous programming. And we have observable streams as well. So this is, so these are the various versions for ECMAScript. But you know guys, the, the right now the the widely accepted version of ECMAScript is ES5. So if you are planning to target the older version of browser, like we have Internet Explorer 9, 10 and 11, so ES5 is widely supported. So ES6 is only supported in the latest browser, like we have Chrome, Firefox, we have the microsoft is browser that is the latest one and for the es7 and es8 we have the same thing 